Well hey everyone, I am Mixar64 and today we are checking out the Instruction Maker in Bricklink Studio. You guys do not want to miss this one to make your own Lego instructions. <laughs> So guys, we're going to start off uh, by opening up the software. Now, uh, if you are new to um, the program, you can check out my first part um, of this series, um, which is a complete beginner tutorial, um, and you can learn all the basics over there. To locate the instruction maker, you'll see uh, the little icon at the top here, um, and then after clicking that, you'll uh, see this little pop-up. Um, you can uh, don't show this again, um, choose that option if you do wish, um, or you can proceed straight to uh, the instruction page. So uh, in the instruction maker, uh, you've got the main uh, workspace, well, the instruction uh, page, uh, which is this large area in the middle. Uh, and then over to the left, um, these are all the steps which you will create for your model. And then down the bottom, uh, this is basically where all the parts are, um, and you can uh, drag this up to see more of your parts um, but yeah that is the basics of uh, this um, this workspace in here um, you've also got the main model over here and if you do have sub models um, they will pop up in the drop down menu there now uh, the one other thing you'll notice is the step editor and then the page design at the top so guys, when I do instructions through this uh, program, um, I start from the bottom and then work my way up. Um, so whatever you have designed, um, basically try and get uh, the bottom view, which I've got here of my bus. Um, and then I'm going to basically select a few parts from the bottom. And what I like to do is press this uh, step before button. And what that will basically do is add the parts you've selected to the step before. Now, if you have uh, selected a bunch of parts, um, added them to the step before, um, and then you realize you want to add more parts into that same step, what you can actually do is simply just drag the part onto the step you want, like I'm doing here. So really from here, it's quite straightforward. Um, unless you've got a really complex model, um, it can be hard to determine what the next step should be. But uh, with something like I've got here, um, a simple bus design, um, basically I'm just going to select the parts, work my way up from the model, um, and then just keep pressing the step before button. Now if you are working on a larger model, what you might want to do is just scroll back up to the top of your steps um, and work your way through just to make sure you're on the right track with your model. Um, you don't want to get all the way to the end and then realise um, you know, your steps aren't quite right. So um, just keep checking back um, that uh, you're happy with your steps and you're happy with the parts that you're actually putting into each step. Now guys, I want to talk about submodels. If you've used submodels or created submodels in uh, Bricklink Studio within your design, you can actually do separate steps for that particular section of your build. With this back section, it actually goes on in one piece, so I'm going to create a submodel with uh, that whole section. I'm simply going to just select um, all the parts here. Um, and then just press the create submodel button down uh, in the right uh, corner here. And you can name your submodel here. I'm just going to call this the back. Basically, the whole submodel is now one piece uh, in the uh, parts down in this section. Um, and then from here, you can actually add this into a separate step. So what I'm going to do is just select this and then press the step before and then uh, go onto that step and then press view steps, uh, this blue button down here. And what this will do is this will open basically another whole page where you can create separate steps for your sub model. So I'm going to do that same process with the front here um, and then uh, yeah, create separate steps for that as well. Okay guys, so now I have completely finished uh, the step editor um, section of my instructions. So uh, once you've gone through all your different steps and you're happy with them, what we're going to do is jump into the page design tab, which is located up the top next to the step editor. 
Now guys, before we do jump into the page design section, uh, a few things to note. You can see the um, total amount of steps you've created uh, up the top here. So I've got 22 steps in my model. And also if you have created some models within this instruction maker, um, if you press the drop down menu uh, from the main model, um, you'll now see your uh, sub models within that uh, section. So as soon as we click a page design, what the program will do, it will automatically label all of the parts within each step, but uh, you'll need to do some editing here. So when you hover over the different sections of a page, you'll notice a blue box pop up. So you can either select the parts or um, the step itself. What I'm going to do here is just change the scale of um, the parts that we see. So I'm going to move this box up into uh, the top right and then basically just use this scale slider in the right section here. Once you've changed the parts themselves, what you can also do is actually change the step view. So you can select the step um, and then you can press change step view. Here you can rotate the model, um, change the scale, all of those things uh, you can do in the right section here. Once you've worked your way through each individual page and you're happy with the final result, then we can export the PDF here with this green export button. Uh, once you click that, you can see a few things here. You can export as a PNG, PDF, change the size, scale, all those things. Then guys, all you have to do is press that blue export button and you have created your very own Lego instructions through Studio. Well guys, that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you learned a bit about the instruction maker through Bricklink Studio. Um, I'm in a bit of a series doing uh, some tutorials on Bricklink Studio. It's a Lego design software program, which I'm sure you're aware of now. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, subscribe down below to not miss the next one. Um, I'll be going through part lists um, and how to buy your parts through uh, bricklink.com. So if you don't want to miss that one, make sure to get on that. That will be coming soon. But guys, if you did enjoy this, give this video a thumbs up. And I really appreciate the support, guys. You're awesome. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one.